The Satellite. A famous newspaper in London posted an ad looking for decoders. They claimed to have found a pile of manuscripts with colorful artistic symbols and believed there might be a huge conspiracy hidden behind the mysterious formulas on them. Whoever decodes the symbols correctly will receive abundant rewards for the newspaper. King Bunklu. Location, the Grave of Devices. The dust crystal extracted from Carbuncle, if my memory doesn't fail me, that's the most efficient catalyst listed in the rare ingredient illustrations. Its wonderful alchemical activity will make it the best ingredient for my bubble solution. All I need is to put this big fella to sleep. This week, Amazing Animals has received a special anonymous letter. The writer claims to be a philosophy major who witnessed a stunning scene through the window of neighbors. A border collie was reading a book on philosophy by the lamp. At the end of the letter, he even swore that the dog had the deepest and most melancholy eyes ever, similar to the most respectable tutor of his. All of us agree that our friend has the hobby of exaggerating, or that he has an unrealistic expectation for the intelligence of dogs. Anyway, thank you for writing to us. Cacti. Location? Yard Manor. Look at these drunkard friends of ours. I believe perhaps they don't mind sharing the vintage with strangers. Wine is a good thing for releasing who we really are. There could be the blessings of Dionysus and the cactus juice. You don't know. Does anyone still remember Ramirez, the security company? They used to be a legend in the arcane security industry, and we were one of their big fans as well. Unfortunately, they rose for their imagination, declined for their desire, and collapsed for their dishonesty. For more details on the history of Ramirez, please read the column of the week, The Past to be Forgotten. Carbunclu. Location, Grave of Devices. Poor little fella, how come you are left all alone? The carbuncle dust, just a pile of untreated powder, not in any forms of artwork. Anyway, it still has the potential, and all it takes is a few steps of simple processing. 12 p.m. February 28th in London. Many balloons are released from Trafalgar Square. Some curious Londoners try to grab them from the air, but the balloons are too fast for them. 2.37 p.m. The sun shines brilliantly overhead. All of a sudden, petals rain down onto the square. According to investigators, the petals are ordinary flower petals. Those who suffer from pollen allergies are advised to avoid visiting Trafalgar Square to prevent any symptoms. News now. The infamous rock pirate was witnessed in a well-known motorcycle bar in London. On the same day, a group of motorcyclists gathered at the bar, seemingly preparing for the 15th motorcycle road racing competition. Our journalist has learned the competition anticipated by all motorcycle fans in London is not officially authorized, and is highly possible to be brought to a halt. Devilish Mothman. Location? Hanging out day. Huge wings, scarlet pupils, the embodiment of misfortune, the curse of fate. Fine. May the god of art be with me. Postscript. When collecting its black scales, do remember to wear gloves and use a brush and glass bottle. At 2037 this Monday, a Panama hat exhibited in the central showcase of V&A Museum was stolen. The exhibit was of historical significance for being worn by Mary I doing every official outing. Are you kidding me? We had six guards watching that hat. Six of them! Damn it! How dare you fool me with a story like the hat turned into a leaf all of a sudden? The curator yelled at the security staff without caring less about manners. At 8.37 the next day, the exhibit was put on the red mailbox in front of the museum entrance. Perhaps we should believe it's only a bit of a harmless joke. Carbunclues. Location. Grave of devices. These little briquettes always appear in groups. Since they rub against each other all the time, they leave the precious dust I want wherever they go. Well, the dust is not so perfect as the crystal, but still active enough for my bubble solution. At least they look much milder than the other ingredient sources. Night Anecdote Our journalist took a photo of dogs having fun on the lawn during his way home. The sun was setting and a dozen dogs were running toward the border collie in the corner. They brought out a pile of bite toys, yet the border collie didn't look excited at all. Seriously, there were a dozen bite toys around it. The owner said that even the naughtiest puppies would get rid of their bad habits as long as they stayed with this border collie for a week. 
Perhaps we should look into the reason behind this phenomenon. Dryad. Location, Scorched Woods. Their fate was meant to be a good one. They were born linked to the life of trees and died with them. Somehow they were twisted into evil beings by some power. What would they see if the bubbles also worked on them? Maybe a dancing old tree? Who knows? Have you ever seen your dreams in the soap bubbles on the mirror? Oh, this isn't arcane magic. This is avant-garde art, the ultimate dream. Art is in the air. London has broken free from its shackles of order and discipline and returned to a culture of freedom and creativity. Quotes taken from on-the-ground interviews, graffiti, and posters are not representative of the views of this publication. Menace Vindicte Drummer. Location? Depths? Scorched Woods. A bunch of hard cans and noisy drums. They don't seem to be gentlemen or pacifists. Is there a possibility they would like to make friends with someone who admires their music? There isn't anything worth reading now.